are you? <laughs> right. Welcome. We will uh, we will open this thing up for questions with quarterback Spencer Petrus. If you have a question for Spencer, please raise your hand by clicking on the participant button at the bottom of your screen, and we will get things started. Spencer, the first question from Darren Miller. Hi, Spencer. Uh, just wonder if you could walk us through maybe the mindset when you guys went down early in the third quarter. You were behind for the first time in the game, and then you executed that scoring drive. Just, you know, what was the mindset there? Yeah, you know, uh, we spoke at halftime. Um, the only thing holding us back was ourselves, and uh, you know, we needed to we needed to come out there with a big drive. And uh, you know, great job all around. Um, you know, ran the ball really well. Had some key, you know, really nice catches by some guys. So. Um, you know, we knew we knew we needed to, you know we needed to get down there and, and get some points, and uh, we executed well. The next question, Spencer, from Mark Emmert. Yeah, Spencer. Obviously, it wasn't easy for you guys today. Um, that last drive, you had a second down play to uh, Laporta right in front of your bench. Can you talk me talk me through that one? That was a big play for you guys to keep that going. Yeah, yeah. You know, we were running the ball, you know, really well. So I'm um, a little, you know, a little naked off that, and um, you know, really good job by Sam. You know, making the catch, staying in bounds, uh, number one, was huge. Um, and then getting up the sideline, getting some, you know, getting some yards so that we could, uh, you know, continue to move the ball. So, um, you know, really, just really good execution, uh, especially by Sam. Was he your first option on that play? Yes. Next question, Spencer, from Chad Leistico. Hey, Spencer. Um, I saw you were really upset with yourself on the interception uh, uh, maybe walk me through that and how you kind of bounce back from some tough throws early in the game. Yeah, you know, um, obviously, you know, can't can't do that um, on the interception. Just forced it, and um, you know, obviously, very upset because you know we take pride in taking care of the football. That's my number one job is to is to limit my turnovers and can't can't do stuff like that. But um, you know, real credit to our defense. You know, held them to a field goal after that, um, able to keep us in the game. That's you know, it's really good team football. You know, and I make I make mistakes. They have my back, and uh, you know, that's that's the way. We, you know, that's, that's how we play winning football. So you know, credit to the defense, and um, yeah. Next question from Scott Doctorman. Yeah, we look at that first touchdown to uh, to, to Tyrone Tracy, and I think he went both and kind of looped around. What, what was kind of the play design, and and uh, was he the primary option on that route? Yeah, he was. Um, you know, big play action. Um, try and get their their uh, their guys to you know come up and play the run, and he got behind them. So you know easy easy throw and catch. Really good job. You know the key on that play is to make it sound like the run, so that, you know we get good pull. And uh, it was just a good job by uh, by the unit, you know, offensively executing that. What was that like at the uh, right after Keith missed that field goal and you were on the sideline and you knew if they scored a touchdown they win? Was it just kind of a sinking feeling, or how did you kind of what were you doing watching that last drive there? No, I mean, really, we were we were getting ready for um, you know potential two minute drive if if they did score a touchdown, um, and and really just just having our defense uh, you know cheering our defense on. Um, that's that's how that's how we play winning football. You know, we uh, you know they go out there, we have their back. We go out there, they have our back. That kind of deal. We were cheering them on, and you know I think we all everyone on the sideline you know had confidence that they would they would step up and make a play. And you know Chauncey with that you know forced fumble or whatever it was. I don't know if it was interception or forced fumble, but. Um, you know, great play, uh, and, and we knew it would happen. You know, we had confidence in those guys, so, yeah. The next question from Isaac Goffin. Um, hi, Spencer. Um, what do you think was the biggest difference between the run game in the first half and the second half? Uh, they were confusing us with some looks early. Um, so, you know, we just got that, you know, got that figured out at halftime, and we are able to run the ball a lot better in the second half. The next question from Mark Emmert. Yes, Spencer. You had uh, four really big fourth down decisions to make in their territory. Uh, can you kind of talk me through what are, are you are you lobbying at that point for a certain play, or do you just kind of have any input at all in terms of whether you go for it or not and what play you run? Pretty sure that there's a big chart that they have upstairs as to what is statistically the best thing to do or analytically, um, and I think that we go with that. Um, so, you know, and then when they, you know, if they if we want to go for it, then you know, let's let's go for it. Let's go. Um, you know, at that point, I just you know try and. Do my best to get us uh, the first down, but uh, yeah. Yeah, tell me about the throw to Laporta. That was that was a big play there. That that fourth and two play. Yeah, you know, quick game. Um, he had a really really good catch. I threw the ball a little behind him, um, but a really good job by him to to make the catch and get the first down. Um, you know, they're playing a lot of a lot of zone. Um, you know, in our empty stuff. So they, uh, you know, he was able to find a hole there, and uh, you know, we got the first down. 
Next question from Chad Lystico. Just uh, overall, you know, big deal for you guys to win six in a row against Nebraska. How much, uh, how much of a big deal is that for you? I mean, you know, anytime you win a Big Ten game, it's a big deal, especially against a rival. Um, you know, it feels good. Feels good to win. Um, you know, they're a good football team, so it, you know it means a lot. And uh, you know, I know we're all we're all super excited that we got the win, and uh, you know, get get the uh, get to go home and, and and relax and just you know go to sleep knowing we got the win. So it's good. Yeah, Terry, uh, it seems like you're around the ball every time on special teams, whether it was uh, that, that what I think it was Northwestern recovering it before it went out of bounds to this one. What, what is it about special teams that makes you, you know, maybe unique as maybe one of the best in the country at doing what you do? I mean, it's all about preparation. You know, Coach Woods, he prepares us every week uh, for each team that we're playing against. And, uh, you know, just my teammates believing in me. Same with, uh, same with Coach Woods. And, you know, I believe my teammates, you know, Tori, he's been, he's, uh, arguably one of the best punters in the nation. So, you know, I just tell him, you know, if you give me a good kick, you know, we'll go down and cover. We'll get the ball. The next question from Chad Lystico. Hey, Terry, nice uh, nice game. Uh, I'd love to hear your thought process as you, you, you kind of combine the, uh, you know, eyeing where Tory's punt is going and what the punt returner is doing. Uh, give me your perspective on that fumble recovery today and what happened. Uh, you know, it was just, uh, you know, I told Tori before, you know, before he we went out there, you know, you get, get get a good ball, we'll go down and cover. And I looked at the returner, you know, seeing him, and I looked to see what the ball was. So, and he fumped, he dropped the ball, and, you know, see ball, go get ball. Is that, I mean, did you, he's one of their best players. Is that, uh, was that a surprise to you that that occurred? Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're a hell of a team. You know, uh, you know, shout out to them. They, they gave us a good fight. But, uh, you know, Coach Woods, he told us all week, you know, at some point, you know, they're going to put one on the ground. And there it is. They put one on the ground for us. The next question for Terry Roberts from Mark Emmert. Yeah, Terry, do you get a sense when you look at the other returners that they have trouble with uh, Tory Taylor's ball? It seems like they, whatever they do, they make the wrong decision every time. Uh, yeah, Tory, he, you know, he, he, he has multiple different types of punts. You know, he can, he can make the ball t spin a certain way, you know, so it's harder for the returner to catch it. And that's why, you know, I believe he's one of the best punters in the nation. So shout out to uh, Tory Taylor. The next question from Jeff Johnson. Yeah, Terry, um, just in general, I mean, does it take uh, a special kind of individual to want to wanna play special teams? I mean, obviously you want to you wanna play position-wise, but, I mean, this is the role you're given right now. And is that, you know, uh, talk about that, I guess, if you would. You know, you just, just take advantage of all your opportunities, you know, uh, whether it's special teams, offense, defense, uh, field goal, field goal block, doesn't matter. Just anytime you're on that field, you know, give it 100%. You know, even if you're in for one player, then you got you to gotta take advantage of it because that might be the play to change the game. The next question, Terry, from Scott Dockerman. Yeah, I mean, uh, along those lines, I mean, you just seem to make an impact in just about every game doing that. And I, I, this is uh, going back a year ago, but, you know, the Iowa State game, for instance, you seem to run the – you ran the guy into the, the punt returner, which enabled Devontae to, to recover it. In this case, you seem to be kind of holding on on the outside and then you saw the ball um, just – what is it kind of your thought process when you're going down the field? Is it to, to head hunt, go get the ball, or is it uh, to, to hold a lane? Uh, you know, my, my job is just to go down, for, for, you know, force a turnover on uh, special teams. So I go down there. If, the faster you get down there, the harder it is for the punt return to focus on the ball. He's more worried about getting hit than focus on the ball. So, you know, it's kind of easy, you know. Yeah, Jack, first of all, you look a lot bigger than the last time I saw you face-to-face. <laughs> -face, but uh, did – you know, what's this been like for you to go from being what about 240 pound basketball player to, you know, a pretty big tackle? And what was this weeks of preparation like knowing that you'd probably get the start? You know, it's been a lot of eating and trusting the strength coach. They do a great job of making sure it's all good weight and you're doing what you need to do. And then this week I, I went in and after Mark went down and then just prepared like I would any other week, got the reps with the ones all week. So I had a lot of confidence going into this game. Jack, the next question from Chad Lysko. Hey, Jack. Um, what uh, Spencer said you guys needed to make some adjustments at halftime. What wasn't working in the run game, in your opinion, in the first half? They were giving us weird fronts up front, and then we just settled in, got the looks, figured out at halftime, settled in, made our calls, and got after them.
Was it a missive to, you know, from the coaches that, you know, we're going to run the ball in the second half, you know, come hell or high water, that type of thing? I mean, we like pounding the ball. It's tough Iowa football. We like doing that. So when we can get the ground game going, we like running it. Jack, the next question from Mark Froon. Hey, Jack, um, what's a rivalry win feel like? Man, it's awesome. The feeling in the locker room, you can't beat it. Especially a trophy game, it's great. Singing the fight song, you just can't beat it. It's awesome. The next question from Scott Docterman. Yeah, I mean, you guys had to come overcome some adversity in this game. I mean, you know, whether it was the turnovers, you're down seven. How were you guys able to mentally stay focused and, and be able to perform um, even when the the game was kind of going against you? And just trust in the preparation. We do a great job in the week making it stressful on us. So we know we just keep pounding it and eventually they're going to break and we're going to come through. The next question from Mark Emmert. Yeah, Jack, how do you think you did in your first start? Do you feel like you held your own up there? I think I did all right. Definitely improve a lot and we'll watch film and see how it goes from there. But I think I played all right. Yeah, Tyler, uh, yards were on the ground were hard to come by in the first half. Then when the third quarter opened, you guys put together that 16 play drive. What what was the difference in that drive that allowed you to get a little more room in there? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, coming into the game, we expected them to uh, overflow. Uh, like they normally did, but obviously in the film, they watched film, studied us, uh, made some great adjustments, and they uh, started to play backside. And so we just had to come to the sideline, tell the coaches, take coaching, and come into halftime with a different mindset. Um, so we just went in, made adjustments, took the coaching from the coaches, and put it out on the field coming into the second half. The next question, Tyler, from Scott Docterman. How important was it for you guys to establish the run early in the third quarter because you – you know, it just wasn't the typical first half you guys have had this year. Right. Uh, it's always important for us to uh, establish the run, um, especially this game. Uh, I think the run for us uh, set the tone for us to get the ball moving. And as we kept running, uh, we kept progressing. We just got to work on uh, finishing the drives, and we'll do that by just going back uh, to the facilities and watching film on improvement. The next question from Mark Emmert. Tyler, you carried it 30 times. I think that's a career high for you. Uh, how did you hold up physically? That was a pretty tough, hard-hitting game. Right, yes. Uh, uh, it's not the usual uh, for me, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, whatever the coaches want me to do, that's what I'll do. If they want me to carry uh, 25, 30 times, that's what I'll do. Or if they just want me to carry it 10 to 11 times, that's what I'll do. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The next question from John Schaefer. Hey, Tyler, what's it mean to beat these guys for six straight seasons now? Yes, uh, it means a lot. Um, I've only been there for uh, two of those seasons, but uh, I can tell you it's a great feeling, especially winning, coming back to the locker room. The atmosphere in the locker room is great. Um, you see a lot of smiles on guys' faces, and that's that's the best feeling about winning these games, you know, and also winning the trophy. It was just a great team effort and a collective win. Bad lights to go. I'm sorry. Was it frustrating? Uh, I your 30 carries, the longest was only 13 yards. Uh, just couldn't seem to break that long one today. Was it, uh, I guess, just very frustrated? All right. Uh, it's not frustrating. Uh, after a couple runs in the first half, I knew the game was going to be a tough running game. So it was all about just keeping my head clear, staying focused, and know that uh, the offensive line, the guys up front in front of me will uh, get the job done and we'll be able to uh, break a couple runs uh, going into the second half. Keith, uh, how, how nice was it hitting those first four? And then what was your reaction to missing that fifth one? Yeah, I mean, it, it felt great hitting those first four. Every time we, uh, you know, as a special student, we come out on the field, we need to execute. Um, unfortunately, the last one didn't hit it well uh, but met and missed. Um, but, you know, fortunately, we have a great defense that kind of backed us up and came in with a, a win. Keith, the next question from Mark Emmert. Yeah, Keith, there are a lot of uh, fourth and short situations in, in Nebraska territory that you guys had to make decisions on. I think three times they'd likely to send you out there to kick the ball. What, what are you doing, doing during those timeouts? What's your routine there? Yeah, so I, I mean, I've got a pretty scripted routine. Um, you know, usually every first down and after the second down, I get a rep into the field goal. Um, going into third down, I'm standing right next to Coach Ferentz. Uh, you know, the mindset there is attack the opportunity. Um, and that's kind of what our program's built on is new opportunities, doing it the right way, and you know playing tough, smart, and physical. And that's my mindset going to the going onto the field and trying to execute the rep. 
The next question from Scott Dockerman. Yeah, for more than for well, exactly one year, you've kind of been public enemy number one, you know, against that team. I mean, did you hear much on the field? Uh, <laughs> did anybody try to shake you a little bit? And and did you think about looking over to the other side during after you made some kicks? Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, it happened last year and this year pregame. I I don't know. They like talking a little bit. You know, I think they're too worried about growing their mustaches and playing football. But, you know, that's, that's the difference between Iowa and Nebraska. You know, we, we are focused on football. We're focused on playing the right way. And, you know, we came out with the win. But, yeah, that's, that's what they do in pregame. They're talking. But I wouldn't want any, any other way. You know, that means they're worried about you. So we played dangerous today, and we came, came out with a win. The next question, Keith, from Chad Leistico. All right, so uh, I believe it's the case that you have a relative that's a Nebraska fan. Is that you want to fill us in on what uh, that conversation ahead? <laughs> yeah, I can't can't wait to talk to him. He's uh, my uncle's a big Nebraska fan. Um, I don't know why or how, but he, he is. And you know, he he sent me a picture before the game. He was wearing his Nebraska gear under his Iowa gear, and I'm like, that's a little bit foreshadowing. You know, I was on top, of course. Um, you know, but it's going to be an interesting conversation in about 10 minutes. So I can't, can't wait to rub it in his face a little bit. Keith, the next question from Michael Loss. Uh, there's no question you earned your, your uh, honors last year, but you had opportunities. Uh, to make 29 field goals, you need opportunities. This has been a touchdown team. Do you feel like you uh, – how do you feel about sort of fading into the background a little bit? Um, you know what? If we're if we're a touchdown team, that means we're a winning team. So I'm I'm happy about that. Um, if I'm kicking zero field goals and we're winning, I'm I'm a happy kicker because um, kicking those 21 yard extra points is is a lot of fun. Um, you know, seeing points on the board is a lot of fun, and coming coming in from a win is a lot of fun. The locker room today was it's it's unreal. Um, you know that that kind of momentum is is what we build on. Iowa football grows every single week. We get better every single week, and, and that's what we're the best at. Next question from Chad Leistico. Uh, I mean, just a sense that uh, special teams, you know, was probably the biggest factor, factor today in the game. Is that something Coach Ferentz uh, pointed to ahead of time? I mean, every week it's offense, defense, special teams. There's no just offense, defense. Um, I think Coach Ferentz does a really good job of understanding how important special teams is. Um, I think Tory Taylor's punt was probably, you know, one of the biggest plays in the game. That momentum shift got us points was huge. Uh, tory has been outstanding this whole year, as well as Ryan, Austin, and especially Caleb. Um, you know, Caleb does more off the field that's, you know, not as recognized, but he's, he, he's a, you know, a great leader on our team and does a great job within the specialist group to advance everyone. Um, we have such a tight-knit circle, and I think the success is showing on the field. Uh, you know, we had a, a great game today, and, you know, we still have yet to have our best game. Two more questions for Keith. We'll start with Jeff Johnson and finish with Scott Dockerman. So, Keith, the next question from Jeff Johnson. Yeah, Keith, you said uh, they were talking a little junk to you. Is there anything specific you can you can re relate that maybe is uh, PG or PG-13 related? <laughs> Probably not. Um, but, you know, <laughs> that's just how it is. I mean, it's football. Um yeah, no, it, it was just, you know, it's fun. Go through the same routine every pregame, and they didn't like that, I guess. Um, yeah, probably probably stuff I, I shouldn't share, but, you know, that's that's football. It's Iowa against Nebraska. It's expected. Wouldn't want anything else. So um, it was good win. The final question for Keith Duncan from Scott Dockerman. Yeah, I write for the internet, so I don't need the PG-13 version. If you got an R version, I'll take it. But <laughs> is there any other team that, that gets you going the way Nebraska does? I mean, does any of the other Big Ten teams or Iowa State in the past or anybody else kind of feel this way? Yeah, Scott, I'll make sure to send you a text on that. Um, um, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, every, every game we want to win, obviously. Trophy games are special to us, um, but, you know, Nebraska, you know, treats this game very special to them. Um, so, so we're out there. We want to win. But, you know, we, we just knew that if we played Iowa football, we were going to win. That's what happened today. We weren't worried about what they were going to do. We were, we were worried about what we were going to do. Yeah, Matt, they, uh, they took the kickoff in the third quarter and drove right down on you guys and took that 20-13 to 13 lead but didn't score again. What did you guys have to shore up there after that 
to uh, to get better as a defense? Uh, we just knew we had to step it up because they kind of walked it down on us. And from that point on, we we, we kind of talked to ourselves like, look, this game gonna be on us. Uh, they don't score any more points, they can't win. So we gotta do what we gotta do. Matt, the next question from Darren Miller. Yeah, Matt, along those lines, uh, you guys tied it up in the third quarter. Then how uh, significant was that three and out that the defense got on Nebraska's next drive? It was huge because that brought a lot of momentum for the offense, for the defense, for everybody, really, the whole team. Uh, the energy just shifted right there, and we just kept it going. Matt, the next question from Scott Docterman. You know, Matt, you were elevated to uh, captain status a couple weeks ago. What does that mean for you and, and the way you performed this year to, to be recognized in that way? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, coming from my teammates, thinking that I'm, I'm uh, able to lead these guys and be a captain for the team, that means a lot. And, you know, it just means that I got to keep doing what I do each week and uh, keep preparing and uh, play the best that I can. The next question for Matt, we'll go back to Mark Emmert. Yeah, Matt, what was your view of that final play that uh, that Chauncey and Zach made? Uh, what did you think when you saw that? I loved it. I was I was on the other side. I was just standing there admiring all everything that's going on, seeing my guys celebrate. I was too far away to, to really celebrate with them, so I was just watching them uh, celebrate, and it's just a beautiful sight. The next question from Scott Docterman. You know, I think it was in the first game you were playing uh, the cash or, you know, covering the slot. And, and since then, it seems like you guys have really solidified your secondary. Um, you know, how, how much better do you think the secondary is than what it was then? And how do you feel playing straight corner rather than playing cash too? Uh, I think from the first week to now, you know, we improved a whole lot. Uh, communication been great, and it's a tight-knit group. So everything that we go through, uh, the ups and the downs, you know, we always just come back together, talk about it, figure it out, and keep it rolling. <clears throat> the next question from Mark Emmert. Yeah, Matt, they kept uh, kind of changing quarterbacks on you by, by series. Did that, how did that impact your defense, what, what you guys had to get done? Uh, we know that, that two, you know, he liked to throw the ball a lot more. And uh, seven, he he's more of a runner, but they both can get out the field and uh, uh, make plays. So you know, I mean, it's really focused on us and doing our uh, our keys and our assignments. Hey Sam, I first wanted to ask about the fourth and two conversion uh, down in the red zone. Uh, walk me through that catch and throw. Looked like a tough one. Yeah, you know, fourth down is always a big down. Um, we got the call. We went out. We executed uh, deep in our own or deep in their own territory, which was huge for us. We went in and punched it in, so that was a great drive for us, and I was glad that we could keep that alive with that fourth down conversion. The next question from Mark Emmert. Yeah, and then I wanted to ask you about one other play, too. There was a, on your final drive, there was a second down play that they, they got you along your sideline there for 15 yards. I guess, what did you see on that play? You know, we were just trying to run the clock out, basically, take as many yards as we could and stay in bounds. So uh, we executed well, and we kept the chains rolling. The next question for Sam Laporta from Jeff Johnson. Yeah, Sam, just um, the run, it came more difficult for you guys today. Um, you know, can you, what kind of adjustments maybe did you make at halftime to, to be able to be more effective on the ground? Well, you know, going into any game, there's obviously physicality involved. Um, with Nebraska, we're always going to take their best shot, you know. We got a target on our back with those guys. They're always trying to get us. Um, but yeah, the run game was hard today, but we scrapped as many yards as we could. And the running backs and the O-line and the tight ends, I thought did a really good job today. The next question from Scott Docterman. Yeah, it seemed like Nebraska's uh, defenders were coming from a lot of different angles, which probably added to some of the confusion or difficulty in the first half. How were you guys able to kind of figure out exactly what they were doing so you could kind of get going in the second half? Well, as the game progresses, you know, you start to see looks over and over again, and you see, uh, you know, coverages and different fronts over and over again. So you start to visualize what's going to happen on each play and, like, how they're going to play their coverage or how they're going to bring their front or maybe a blitz or so. Um, so as the game progresses, you start to see those things over and over, and it's, it becomes easier for us. But um, they threw a lot of things at us today, and I thought we handled them pretty well for the most part, but we got a lot to work on. <laughs> 